Boom. Hey. Um. I got a new sweater, which is great. Um, uh, and I also don't know what to really say. <laughs> the rind. Um. So I am filming my back camera for the first time, which I normally film my front camera so I can, uh, you know, see myself. But, um, so I don't really know if you can see me or not. So that's always fun. So if you can't see me, um, I guess you're just gonna have to hear my voice for the rest of this video. But, um, yeah. Today was okay. Co-op was um, questionable for the first part. Um, you know, sitting there for literally a half an hour to 40 minutes of just seeing the vets um, have their hand inside of a dog's stomach. Mm. <laughs> It was so gross, man. Like, I felt so uncomfortable, but at the same time, you know, I felt like I had to be there because if I want to do vet things when I'm older, then that's kind of what I have to see, except from the, you know, different perspective of me actually, like, doing it and stuff. Um, anyway, that's the tea on that. Um, I just watched Shane's new video to, um, the second part of The Mind of Jake Paul, and that has really, like, got me questioning I should really, like, have an eye out of who I'm really around, like, um, like, cause <laughs> I say like a lot, um, I just really have a good eye out for sociopaths because they're very manipulative so that I really have to have all guards up at all times because I'm not trying to get manipulated I'm not trying to get like lied to and you know make a fake friend and stuff I would rather hang out with people who um, feel remorse and who actually feel for me and if something bad happened to me um, they would feel for me um, <laughs> but yeah um, so I'm trying to like look directly into my flash <laughs> and get blind um, because I don't know if you can see me and I feel like if I look right into the flash and if I'm like a dead center with the flash, it's uh it's a good angle. So yeah. Um yeah. So yeah. So I bought this sweater today at a thrift store for five dollars. Which then again is a very good deal because at Okay, so it's like a thrift store, like literally a minute away from my house. And um, the other thrift stores that I go to, there are three that are somewhat close to me. One is like a 40 minute walk, the other one's like 15 minute walk. Those ones I love, like I love them. Um, I live by a Valley Village and a Salvation Army. They're great. But this thrift store, I completely like never went in because I was, I was really aware of it ever since it was like placed there but I never went in because for one I heard bad things about it and I heard um that it was like old people clothes <laughs> even there's nothing wrong with that but you know that's not really my style so my sister well she knows my love of thrift stores but she decided to drag me in as I like to save my money why did I bring my money because my mom needed oil and she's gonna pay me back <laughs> So, um, so we went to the thrift store and I'm like, okay, I might buy something. Because I was thinking earlier that day that I might go to, uh, Valley Village and get a, uh, sweater. Or, like, some 
clothing because I, you know it's kind of the time to get a new um, piece of clothing in my closet um, so we went in I immediately found this one you know I held on to it I'm like oh this is cute my sister's like that's cute you should get it I'd get it but it wouldn't suit me you know stuff like that so I held on to it and then I look I walked around this whole store like three times you know, just looking at like a little knickknacks, clothes, some curtains, you know, stuff like that. And I was just holding on to the sweater. And I'm like, you know what? This is the first thing that I found at this thrift store thrift store that is cute. And normally when I do that, that's the first thing I'm gonna get, no matter what. So I was debating on it. Um but I was looking at a few other things. And then my sister told me that we had to hurry up, so I just bought this. Because I knew if I didn't, I would regret that. I don't regret my purchase. I don't regret paying that, like, almost six bucks for it because of tax. It's a good sweater. Um, but yeah. That's my story on this sweater. <laughs> um. But. Um. I don't know what I'm gonna say. I honestly just remembered, like, now that my sister wants me to call a pizza place for her so she can get some wings. Which, I'm still debating if I should do that or not, because, um, I don't want to. Uh, yeah. Also, um, I don't have an also. Let's just blabber about random things, shall we? Um. Oh, yeah, there's like a, uh, a dance thing happening at my school right now. That, um, then again, or once again, I didn't get invited to. So, I mean, it's not really like a, you have to be invited to go. It's like anybody can go. But it's just like no one really bothered to be like, hey, you should come and we should hang out. So I honestly didn't want to go in the first place. My friend asked me if I wanted to go to the football game that was happening before that. And I also said no because I'm a little bit sick and I'd rather not go out in the cold and get more sick. So yeah. Um, yeah. I really wish I knew how to edit because all these awkward pauses are really, like, awkward pauses. Like, they're not worth watching. And I keep having them as I think of what to say. Um... Yeah. I really want to start doing, like, get ready with me in the morning and stuff before school. And vlogging when I'm, like, catching my bus. And, you know, stuff like that. But, um, I don't want to wake anybody in my house of me talking to my phone up at, like, 7 in the morning. So, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to blabber about random things because I'm bored. So, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, I guess, thank you for watching. And you can subscribe if you do. Hold on. I gotta grab my phone. Um, you can subscribe if you'd like. But I'm not, like, asking you to. It's just kind of an optional thing, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, I hope you guys have a good day or night. 